We are at the Martinsville Speedway for the sixth race of season one of the SCRL Wheeling Snap-on Tools Southern Series. The ten car of Mitchell Collins will lead us to the green flag. Stand beside him is the two car of Carter Joey. The rest of the starting lineup for tonight's race. Yes, I said tonight. This is Martinsville, the first ever event at this track. For the Wheelam Series, Southern Series, and we are under the lights. I actually found a Martinsville that raced under the lights. And I did do my research for this race. It was actually a night race. So, we almost, I almost came to this track as a day race, but it was actually a night race. So, night race it is. Sixth race of the season. We've had a different winner each and every race. Chris Kyle won the first to Caraway. Jay Jefferson, the second. Trevor Collins, the third. Mitchell Collins, who's starting on pole, won two events ago. And at, and at Bowman Gray Stadium, Colin Dryberg won that race. So Dryberg is looking to win back-to-back -back races. He's starting 19th. First time I've ever used the night version of Martinsville. Pretty curious to see how these cars and the AI works. And yeah, we'll see if the streak of six different winners, well five different winners, continues. Without any further ado, here are the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems, which is always a good thing. Here's camera one. The first ever night race here at Martinsville in series and league history. So we are making history tonight. Depending on whenever you're watching it, it's still a night race. Pace car pulls in. Mitchell Collins. Looking for a second win of the season. Will lead us to the green. And we are racing here at Martinsville. And, uh-oh, the two. The two jump the restart. I mean, the start. You cannot do that. So we'll see if... The SCRL officials will penalize the two car. We have had that happen a whole lot in this series. I don't know what it is with the Wheelam series. But it is. And the two car leaves this lap. Mitchell Collins defends against the 71 of Jim Marks. But Jim is fighting back on the outside. The 10 car goes up high to slow him down, and the 10 car will remain in second spot. So we're going to see what happens with the number 2 car. Of Carter Joey. He is a rookie, only making his sixth career start in this league. So, like, I'm assuming that driver got a little eager on the start. He wanted to go, but he went a little bit too early. Take a look and see what's happening back here. See the 77, Capo Ebola moving up. Past the 99 of uh, Jeremy Baylor. And you see the 10 car just got passed for second. Jim Marks once again. They're all trailing the 2 car who is pending a black flag. 
Of course, the SCRL rulebook states that you cannot beat the leader to the line. Two drivers have already been penalized. Race wins because of that. And Carter Joey might be the next. We'll see what the officials have to say about this. This is a 50 lap race, so they got plenty of time to look at the at the footage. And the rule is he does have to give the lead back at a certain amount of time. So we'll see if the 71 can catch him. Now the pole setter, the 10 car, Mitchell Collins, led the field to the green. So he has to pass the two. For him not to be penalized. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Colin Dryberg, our Bowman Gray race winner, has not moved up that much. To be honest, he's stuck on the high side. I don't know what it is with the Wheelam Southern Series, but we've had so many drivers jump at the start. But the 71, Jim Marks, is trying to close in on the two car as we have completed nine of the 50 laps. So 41 to go. You see hardly anybody is in the stands on the back stretch or in the turns. Kind of like the real Martinsville. Jim Marks is closing in. We got battle for third. Here comes the 11 of TJ Dent. It is neat to see Martinsville at night. I do admit that. As we go back up front to the battle for the lead, the lead is now seven hundredths of a second. Now down to four hundredths of a second. So Jim Marks is gaining on the two car. Of course, catching is one thing, passing is an entirely different thing. Dives it on into turn number three. Closes in with, within a car length. Now he's right on the back bumper. Well, these, these cars don't really have bumpers. Right on the back of the two car. Lead is now two hundredths of a second. Up, he is there. Up, dives to the inside. And we got battle for the lead. Lead change, and can he lead a lap? Yes, he does. Lead change. So does that mean Carter Joey does not get black flagged? He did jump the restart. He did not give the lead back to the pole setter, but he did it before halfway. Carter Joey diving under the 71 car again. He wants to lead back. Carter Joey reclaims the race lead, so he let the 71 car lead for one lap, and then he takes the lead back. He did give up the spot. Hmm. That's going to be a, a borderline uh, controversial question. I mean, he did. Carter Joey did give up the lead. But he didn't give it back to the lead car the, at the time, the 10. But he did give it up before the halfway mark. Either way, someone's going to be mad because it's Carter Joey. He's in the lead. Or it could be the 71, Jim Marks. So the guys in the booth in the SCRL uh, offices are going to have to decide whether this battle for the lead stands. Either Carter Joey has led every single lap except for the one or Jim Marks has led every lap. Of course, the driver could file an appeal with the SCRL officials saying that, hey, I led the lap. I should be the race leader. I played within the rules, but the, so did the, the two car. The two car gave up the lead eventually. And he goes way wide. Oh, here comes the 71, Jim Marks. Just in case he does not 
the two car does not get penalized. Jim Marks takes the lead anyway. So Marks is going for broke. A slip up by the two car gives the 71 the race lead back. We actually got some battles for the lead and some controversy yet again here in the Wheelum series, Southern series. Snap on tool Southern series. Battle for third has been won by TJ Dent at this point. Mitchell Collins back to fourth. Fifth is Capo Ebla. Sixth is Jay Jefferson, our Caraway winner in the second event. Adam McDowell, Ty Dent, Keith Stevens, and Joe Jefferson. Oh, just scraped the wall big time. Back up front. Jim Marks has pulled away just a little bit over the two car, and the two car goes way wide. This allows the 71 to pull away. We are almost at the halfway mark. Let's see what's going on for the battle for last. James Stabilito, our Bowman Gray race, last place finisher in last. So he's looking to get back-to-back -back last place finishes. Not good for James Stabilito's career. Well, depending on who you are. Jim Marks has pulled away almost to a, well, actually it is over a second. Over Carter Joey. So Jim Marks looking for his first career SCRL sanctioned win, I believe. Off the final turn, we're going to complete lap number 23. Oh, we just got a caution. Yep, caution is out. So if we actually get a caution here in a Wheelham Southern race. Well, as the field catches back up, we'll take a look and see about the first caution of the night. So here's the cause of the caution. The 15 car of Jack Marks racing with the 14 of Trevor Collins. Collins just spins out Jack Marks. Plain and simple. Whoa, it almost gets hit by the 06 of Colin Dryberg. Let's take, take another angle at that. I think what it was was Trevor Collins. He dives it into the corner too too fast, and the 15 was there. Yep. So that was not intentional by the 14 car. But Jack Mark's spin unintentionally hurts Jim's chances of the win because he just lost almost a two-second lead. Well, this will be a quickie caution. We'll clean this mess up in turn one. And once we do, we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. Going to get this race restarted with 22 laps to go. The 15 of Jack Marks is out of the race. He broke a camshaft while well, under the caution. So Marks' day got worse. Jim Marks, his brother, is the race leader. Second is Carter Joey. Third is TJ Dent. Fourth is Capo Ebola. And fifth is Mitchell Collins. And we are back to racing here at Martinsville. 22 laps to go. Jim Marks got a great jump. He is the race leader, so he could go whenever he wants. Got a good jump on the two-car Carter Joey. We got battle for fourth. Here comes the 48. Jay Jefferson, he wants to get around Mitchell Collins. 21 laps to go. Jay Jefferson, he wants a top five. Back up front, the 11 car, TJ Dent. He's got a podium finish as of right now. 20 laps to go. We got Carl Pitt Road. That's the four of Chase McDowell. Apparently he's, he's had a problem. And where is he going to come out? In front of the field, right in front of the 10, Mitchell Collins. So we're going to have lap traffic to deal with. And Jay Jefferson is about to be passed by the five of Adam McDowell. So move the five car up one spot. Oh, we got battle for position again. The 77 of Capo Ebola passes the 11 of TJ Dent. Carter Joey trying to close in on Jim Marks. And we are just getting word from the SCR officials. Carter Joey will not be black flagged for jumping the start because he gave up the spot before the halfway mark. 
Carter Joey will not be black flagged, so he is in position for second. So the driver can go for the win now. I know it's a late decision, but the officials thought about it. And they came up with their decision. It probably is controversial. Others will be saying, well, other drivers were, you know, penalized for jumping the restart. But Carter Joey did give his spot back. It wasn't to the 10 car, but he did lose the lead. So the decision has been made. Some people will like it. Others won't. Battle for third. Here comes the five. Oh, excuse me, the 11 of TJ Dent. He wants his podium spot back. And he will take it. But the 77 is fighting hard on the outside once again. Seventy-seven goes way wide. That allowed the eleven to complete the pass and go into third. Laps are winding down. Fourteen to go. Next time by. Here comes the four. But you have to remember the four of Chase McDowell is one lap down. So he's got fresher tires. So naturally he'll be able to pass these guys with ease. 14 to go. Jim Marks has a 1.3 second lead over Carter Joey, who's trying everything he can to get up there. Carter Joey has led the majority of this race, while Jim Marks is our race leader. Jim Marks could have, would have, should have won a Caraway event, but he jumped the restart and he was black flagged. So he knows exactly how Carter Joey feels. Except Jim Marks did not give his spot back, so he was penalized for real. 12 laps to go. Barring we don't have a green white checkered, which has not been done in the Wheelam Southern Series as of yet. So far, I would say that. This Martinsville race has been the best race so far this season. We've had Snooze Fest at Caraway and Bowman Gray. Leave it to Martinsville to turn up the heat a little bit. 11 laps to go. It's not a barn burner of a race. I mean, we've had two lead, we've had two drivers lead. We've had one caution. We've had a driver retire due to mechanical problems. You see the four car still trying to get around. TJ Dent, remember the four is a lap down. As he tries to complete the pass. Not enough power yet. The 11 goes way wide, trying to give him room as we got nine laps to go. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the back of the pack. Well, James Stablito will not get a last place finish in this race because we got a driver out already. That being Jack Marks. You see Chris Kyle in the 12th spot. Former winner at Carroll Way. Jay Jefferson running in 6th. Mitchell Collins in fifth. Keppel Ebola in fourth. TJ Dent in third. Carter Joey, of course, is in second spot. And they are all chasing Jim Marks, who in six laps will score the biggest win of his career, I believe. There's been so many drivers that have won in this league. I believe it's 207. It's hard to remember who's won you know, a race. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that driver will correct me in the comments how many races he's won. I can't exactly look at the stats now because, you know, that's on the site. But barring some unforeseen thing that will happen in the next five laps, Jim Marks will get his first Wheelam Southern win.
and we'll have six races to go in the season. We will have three events at Ace Speedway, two more at Carraway, and one at Motor Mile. So we still got a ton more races to go. This championship is still wide open. We got four laps to go for the 71 car. Looks like everybody has stabilized except for battle for six spot. As the 60 car wants it. We are nowhere near the lap traffic. As Jim Marks leads him off the final turn, his lead is almost three seconds. Correction, it is exactly three seconds. Two and a half laps to go for Jim Marks. We got a car that's wide. That's all right. That's the 77 trying as fast as he can to get the 11, but I don't think he's going to do it. Two laps to go. If a caution comes out now, between now and the white, we will go green-white checkered. But I don't think we're going to go to that. As Carter Joey goes way wide once again, trying to get as much as he can out of his car. And we're checking white flag one left to go. This race is official. He just has a half a mile to go. And to turn number two. Down the back stretch for the final time. He passed Carter Joey around the mid race point and has not looked back ever since. Off the final turn, Jim Mark scores career win number one, I believe, here at Martinsville. Well, that was obviously the best race of the season. Harry Racer Jones, Jim Marks scores the win. I believe it's the first of his career. Second is Carter Joey. Third, TJ Dent. Fourth, Capo Ebola. Fifth is the 60 car. Sixth is Mitchell Collins. Seventh is Jay Jefferson. Eighth, Keith Stevens. Ninth, Ty Dent. And tenth was Adam McDowell. That's your race results. We had 18 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. Chase McDowell was one lap down. And finishing last is Jack Marks. So the Marks family finished first and last. And that is it for Martinsville. Too bad we can't return to this track anymore here in Season 1. But what are you going to do? Well, we'll take you to Victory Lane for the very first time this season with the 71 car of Jim Marks. Here are your point standings after the sixth race of the season at Martinsville. Mitchell Collins is still our point center. He has a 13-point lead over Carter Joey, who finished second at Martinsville. Third was Adam McDowell, 27 points behind. Fourth was Jim Marks, who won at Martinsville, 36 points behind. And fifth is Chris Kyle, 38 points behind. Sixth is Ty Dent. Seventh is TJ Dent. Eighth is James Stavlito. Ninth is Pretty Shaw. And tenth was Trevor Collins. Eleventh is Trey Wright. Third. 12th is Colin Dryberg, 13th is Jack Marks, 14th is Joe Jefferson, 15th is Jay Jefferson, 16th is Dilly, Dylan Abraham, I think that's how you say your name, 17th is Capo Ebola, 18th is Keith Stevens, 19th is Jeremy Baylor, and 20th is Chase McDowell. That is your point standings after the 6th race of the season at Martinsville. We will next see you at the 7th race of the season at the first ever event at the Ace Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.